in my in my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined what we're experiencing today. We have a crisis now that at, that has far exceeded the number of deaths than were accounted for during the height of the AIDS epidemic, and it's getting worse. You don't have a clue whether it be marijuana, uh, cocaine, methamphetamine. You don't know what you're getting because fentanyl is fine. We're finding 70% of cocaine is laced with fentanyl. Once fentanyl came on, on, on the scene, now we found that fentanyl really has hijacked the mind, body, and soul. There is no escaping it. It's so powerful. The, the, the high is so powerful. Then the coming off the high with the cravings and withdrawal is so powerful, an individual has no chance. They gotta go get more. They gotta get more if they live. We used to say, you know, you're gonna die one day. You're playing Russian roulette one day. Now we, there's no question, you're playing Russian roulette with five chambers full. And you are going to die, and probably tonight. The reality is, with this fentanyl crisis, it's hitting people from every walk of life, anywhere from 20 to 60 plus years of age. It now has crossed every demographic boundary you can imagine. So no one's immune anymore. I would dare say in this country, you can get a group of people together and ask, has anyone been affected in their lives by this opioid epidemic? And you're gonna find the vast majority raising their hands.